Yo, what is up guys? One take, no mistake, I wish. Anyways, welcome to vlog number 15 where I talk about currently mostly the diet, the summer cut in which I am in and uh, all kinds of other stuff that I find informative or interesting and uh, anything that happened to me during this week. So maybe a lot of notes today guys. I know the last two videos were a little bit longer but there is, all, there is just so much to talk about and uh, if you compare it to the first videos it's just uh, ramping up like the information that uh, is coming out now uh, and the progress and everything is uh, peaking and we are truly at the end of the diet guys i cannot believe it we are now entering the last officially first goal is getting reached now by entering the very last week of the diet which is going to be a full max out no reps in reserve week guys and after the after coming week i'm going to decide if i if i prolong the diet but we're going to talk about this anyways in a second before i talk too much about it uh, let me just sort my the stuff here that I want to talk about. Um, come back to the half an hour videos. I want to try and keep it smaller. That's why I'm going to try and speak faster. I hope you guys can all catch up. As I said, there's so much to talk about. And uh, yeah, it's it's very interesting for myself as well. So anyways, let's just get right into it, guys. Okay, so my neck is feeling the best it has ever felt this year. It is. Uh, I'm very, very glad to announce that. I almost uh, thought I'm never going to feel as I'm feeling right now. Don't get me wrong, it's still, I'm still in pain every day, I am still in pain, but currently it's like a 3 out of 10, especially when I wake out, uh, up from, the, from um, sleeping, it's no longer like the first thing that's on my mind is the, is the neck pain, it's like I have to make certain moves and stuff to like notice again, oh, there was something. So I'm very, very happy about this and I got an appointment with the neurologist next week, so actually tomorrow, and I'm going to keep you guys up to date of what I talked about and uh, stuff like that um as for my sleep i'm still uh, still taking the melatonin and ramping it up i'm at four, four milligrams right now uh, at the very minimum sleeping pills as well every two to three days now it's very rough for me to fall asleep i'm gonna mention the sleep again in a few seconds my depression nothing has changed every every second of my waking life i am just thinking about my past and uh it's horrible guys i cannot uh I cannot think about anything else. It always comes back to it. Like sometimes I have a one minute of uh, blank mind, and then I'm that's like the only time I'm happy, and then it comes back crushing to thinking about my um, ex girlfriend, and it's horrible, guys. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot get over it. I don't know. All right, so um, I'm glad to announce all these um, all these changes that, that are coming up now, as everything is going according to plan. Yesterday I weighed in at 92 kg. Yes, you heard right. That is 0.5 kg more than I weighed last Saturday. And I didn't change the calories. I didn't change the cardio. Everything stayed the same and I still gained weight. How is this possible? I'm going to tell you in a second. It's all according to plan, guys. And then another thing. Um, I took a picture of on Instagram. I posted it of my... Um, where is it? Let me show you. Mm -hmm. So this was the best I looked this uh, week. I was quite proud of it. You see a huge rash here. We can talk about the rash uh, in just a second. But as you can see, the leanness is coming in. I was not uh, sucking in my belly. That is uh, still the flap is uh, at the, around the be around the how do you say how, do, how is this called the my belly button is still there and yeah. So I shave definitely, you guys can see that. And um, you see the serratus is coming in, the upper two abs are showing more. And uh, I've, I thought this picture was looking very great. I was very happy with the progress. This is like the peak I've looked. And another thing, this is during the, the one little experiment or at the start of the experiment that I started this last week. Okay, so let's talk about it. So what I'm doing currently is I am, um, oh, before I forget, Let's talk about the rash real quick. So I ordered like this shaving stone from China. <laughs> Supposedly it's uh, it's like without any shaving cream or anything. You can just, you know, like shave your body hair with it. I guess my hair was too long and too curly. So it didn't really uh, turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. So eventually I just used the shaver and then I gone through everything. But yeah, the combination of both left me with a rash. 
thankfully all of it like this was like four or five days ago all of it is gone now so i look pretty clean uh, the skin looks very good again and stuff so that is the thing like if you have if you have wondered why i had a like full upper body rash that is why okay so let's talk about what i am doing currently it's, it's a little bit of an experiment and what i'm doing is basically i'm following a protocol that i found on a bodybuilding web website it is a protocol for a contest pre pre preparation where people would salt uh, sodium and water load and um, it looks like this so you one week before the end of the diet which is going to be next saturday uh, i started loading up on no actually it's like it's a little bit more than a week now like it's, it's 10 day 10 days before the end of the so i started this four to five days ago i'm not really sure what, what day exactly it was but the way it goes you increase your water intake by like double at least currently i am at six to eight liters of water guys it's actually really hard to drink that much water and i'm at like uh, 15 to 20 grams of salt and it's giga hard to take all uh, to take in all the salt but what i have to do is like spread the salt uh, evenly like just put it in the water and drink it like this uh, i tried to salt my food like much more and it's uh, unpalatable i had to like uh, uh, stop eating the, the, bro the one uh, little broccoli i had left which I'm starving, guys. I cannot throw away anything. And I still have to throw it away just because it was way too salty. And uh, yeah, it was not good, guys. I'm, I'm, don't worry, it's all ethical here. <laughs> but anyways, that's how much salt I'm eating right now. The reason for that being is that I actually want to bloat right now. And why we want to bloat is because we want our body to think that this is the normal state. We want our body, my body, to adapt to this kind of water gain and... Um, salt intake so that it thinks the that the standard homeostasis i guess is how you call it is at these higher levels right and then what you do is a few days before the end of the diet so my case is going to be probably tuesday or wednesday you cut out the salt completely and you you keep the water weight in uh, you keep the water intake the same so it's still going to be six to eight liters the more the better guys just Drink as much as you can, and it's it's very very hard because you, I just have to go to the toilet every fifty to thirty minutes. Uh, but then um, the last day, so ten days before you start with the water doubling, with the salt doubling, three to four days before the end, you cut out the sodium. You uh, keep the water, and then the last day before the end of the diet, you even cut the water out. So that's gonna be from in my case is gonna be Friday. That is gonna be leg day. So for leg day, I'm gonna drink as much water as I need to just survive the workout and then the rest of the day I'm not going to drink anything. Salt is also still not going to be uh, taken but what I'm going to take is more potassium. I have potassium here from a factory that I ordered back then and I'm probably going to go for like four to five grams of the of that which is 4,500 uh, in between 4,000 to, 4, to 500 milligrams. Uh, you can fuck up your hormones and um, what do you say you can, you can get very sick on on this guy so i wouldn't recommend doing this uh, uh i cannot recommend doing what whatever i'm doing right now so I, i'm just experimenting but i read up that it should be okay but like my body should be okay to handle that that much amount of potassium and uh, what the potassium is gonna do it is actually gonna uh, make my body uh, what's the word secrete the sodium so basically the sodium is keeping water in your body and potassium is depleting water from your body and then if I do this the last day before the, uh, the cut ends, when I wake up on Saturday then, and uh, my body still thinks that I'm getting all this water intake, uh, it's going to keep peeing out all the water. And then therefore, uh, I'm going to lose all, the, all kinds of water weight. And I'm expecting, I know it sounds, it sounds stupid, but guys, I think I'm going to lose like four to five kg of water. That's just how my body works. I'm going to touch on that as well again later. And um, then we're going to weigh on Saturday, on the next Saturday, and that's going to be my final weight. And that's going to be the official last weight for, for this summer cut. And that's how we end. And hopefully I'm going to lose all the gut and everything because I, I don't even know where to start with this. But all the time I thought it was like fat and uh, around my belly and my love handles where it was actually water, guys. It is so crazy. I cannot believe how many people must have felt the same or gone through the same shit where they uh, do everything right and really like go, go through all this pain and um, uh, make everything right just to gain, gain weight at the end of the week, which is uh, it's killing, it's killing you inside. I know it for sure. So me, myself, it is 
horribly annoying and just depressing but if you know what is up guys it is actually water weight and you don't read about this at all like anywhere all you read about like when you when you youtube or google it's it's all about like fat and people trying to sell you their programs and stuff nobody's talking about water weight i have to say though it, maybe my case is something special and i just keep so much water that uh you know it is something that uh people don't really have to mention but like uh this week when i read up up on this it's like the first time i really do dove into this topic like a lot and so much just clicked and made it made sense for me and now i see it like on the street on people and uh, i'm thinking like all of them are just carrying water weight of course it's it's gonna be fat and sub subcutaneous fat as well but most of it is gonna be water guys and uh, why is that it has to do something with hormones so i, I want to tell, uh, tell you about a little story um like three or four years ago i made a test of my testosterone and i think i'm really not sure but i believe it was around 820 or something that is considered very high testosterone uh, for, for me though like all my life i've been a very very skinny fat kind of person so my genetics are such that i am uh, very skinny and my bones are also very skinny but uh, and very hard to put on muscle mass or, or like lean, lean body mass, but very easy to gain fat. And why is that so? I think, and that's like bro science or whatever science you want to call it. That's just what I read upon. And that's all the information that I get up now from multiple sources, trying to put them in the pot, making sense of, of it for myself. Uh, I'm thinking my androgen receptors are so weak or non-existent that all the testosterone that I'm generating is... Um, is not uh, docking to the receptors, but rather being free testosterone and then therefore getting converted to estrogen. That would uh, explain a lot of stuff that happened during my life, me just being like a woman and always emotional and stuff. <laughs> so it, it just all makes sense. But yeah, it's, it's something that I'm gonna definitely pursue of um, reading up on more and just learning and in intensively uh, researching. And uh, it's a very fascinating topic for me. And as I said, just a lot of stuff makes sense with with this new uh, uh, narrative that I um, I have now. And yeah, so uh, let's see. There was a lot of info now. Let me see if I skipped er skipped anything. So yeah, the salt load is going great, guys. As I said, I'm uh, trying to gain weight. And yeah, oh, actually, I can actually now. Tell you when when we started with the salt it was tuesday this tuesday that's one two three four five five days ago okay so um yeah so what i do to get, get the salt in as well is just take a nice gulp of this daily in the morning sometimes in the evening too it's a whole jar of pickle pickle juice Delicious, guys. If you're on a diet, everything is delicious. <laughs> but yeah, I would um, take a huge gulp from this. It's very re refreshing, a little bit acidic, um, acidic, but most of all, it has insane amounts of salt. And uh, as I said, I'm just salt loading, trying to get as much fruits into my body, as much salt as I can. And we're gonna go for this. Uh, uh, kind of contest preparation protocol and if it fails what can i say to it i can just say i tried it this is um this is the way it's gonna work i think and it it, it just makes sense the tricking your body kind of partners and stuff and uh yeah so as i said uh, we started with the salt loading with the water loading we're gonna cut out the salt keep the water and then at some point we have to it's not tapering down it's like a complete cut and then we're gonna cut the water as well and increase the potassium and that's uh that's how it is that's that's what i'm gonna do throughout this next week and hopefully i'm gonna i'm gonna be around 88 maybe even 87 kg i'm thinking I, we can get them because on paper like the math should check out that i'm losing at least like 1.5 kg did up in the past weeks i even up my cardio i was like at uh, 15k to 20k steps every day and uh, yeah so we should definitely get there guys to to even gain 0.5 kg imagine my body is must have like if i lost 1.5 kg and then gained uh, 0.5 kg that means i i gained 2 kg of, of water just like that also like last bulk that i had in winter 
the first in the like within the first two months of just eating i i ate a lot of dog shit i have to say like uh, it was full pro diet with uh, all kinds of fat and stuff but yeah i gained so much water guys uh it was like almost 15 kilograms of water i believe like it, it's just hilarious dude. hilarious like a lot of people are um unaware that it's just water weight but yeah for some people it is a crazy amount and i think i'm one of those people and it's, it's something that we have to still research about so uh there was a lot of talk about the water weight guys and uh, I'm, i can still go on about it but uh, let's let's continue so with the with the water weight Came a little bit of edema. I definitely noticed it during uh, gaming this past few days. Uh, a game came out, which is an like an open world action R RPG called Wuthering Waves. It's like a an enemy enemy game, and uh, I've been playing it for like three to four hours daily now. This is the most time I've been at a PC for the long for, for like at the, at the time at once uh, this year, <laughs> and uh, I noticed my feet swelling up uh, from all the salt and all the fluids just from the gravity if i if i'm not standing up like every hour at least or latest to just walk around a few rounds and stretch and stuff i get this edema so i'm currently wearing compression compression socks and they are definitely helping out like it's, it's so much better guys and yeah by the way guys we're gonna play this game a little bit uh, more often now i find it very very um uh, interesting and cool so we're gonna play it a little bit uh, while i'm still a little bit in a uh, free time and definitely gonna um be very very busy soon so let me check the calendar next june for the majority of june i'm still gonna be on like vacation mode this is which is gonna be pretty nice but like latest starting july i'm gonna be giga busy and then uh, yeah we will see guys but i will keep you guys up to date we're also gonna stream the maintenance um uh, the maintenance stuff and the uh, and the workouts during maintenance and i'm gonna keep you guys up to date so i cannot wait for maintenance to come guys I'm also going to start reversing the diet now a little bit. On maintenance, I'm going to eat 2,600 to 2,700 calories. I'm not sure where we're going to end up yet. I'm going to have to increase the calories up to the point where I stop gaining weight. And I'm thinking it's going to be around 2,600, 2,700. But now for this week uh, that is coming, for the last week of the diet, uh, because my symptoms are getting very, very bad, guys. I'm going to talk about the symptoms in just a second. I'm going to up the calories now to 2,000 calories. and with the 2000 calories if i still maintain the steps of 15k to 20k i should be in the realm of fat loss uh, like 1kg per week so it's all good guys we're gonna reverse the diet slowly now and get into the main fa maintenance phase and it's all gonna be smooth sailing hopefully that's like that, that's the um, plan anyway so yeah guys uh we we barely beat all the numbers um during the during the workouts last week uh, it was very hard on a few um on a few uh, sets i couldn't uh, could almost not maintain but we did it we um, prevailed we got through all of the workouts guys it was very very hard workouts it was the hardest workouts i that i had uh, this whole year and i'm absolutely depleted this is like the worst set i have ever been in it is very very rough to to be motivated as well just for the just for the walking around doing the cardio and to be honest like i'm not even looking forward for the workout tomorrow anymore which i'm actually always pumped about uh, uh, doing a workout that's the only time i'm i'm having uh, you know something else on my mind and then um, that just tells me that um, i have to you know I, I need a break i definitely need, need a vacation so i'm gonna up the calories now to 2000 and i think it's gonna heal me and it's gonna be really good and it's gonna be a nice um, reverse of the diet and yeah so uh, let's see where am i mm -mm -mm. yeah guys let's talk about a few symptoms that ca that came on during um, last week or that are still remaining so the knee pain is 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 gone uh, the one that i had last week in the left uh, knee it is okay my jaw pain came back with a vengeance like today i woke up even and the first thing i noticed was my jaw pain it it is actually really really rough to eat uh the most of the All time right. what is this oh somebody somebody just followed while i'm offline okay nice nice and then i get the notification good to know that this works like this okay anyways guys so the jaw pain came back Ho horrible feeling too it's like a real ache it's like a horribly painful ache most of the food i'm not even chewing anymore i just try to swallow it it is a uh, really really bad even if i just uh 
two with on the right side, the left side is still um, very painful. And I was thinking uh, last week because it was much better that it's it's gonna you know it's it's gonna get better and it's gonna go away. Now it came back with a vengeance suit, and I do not know why why it is. And uh, I'm thinking of taking like a scan at the dentist now. And I really don't know what's going on. It's like it happened a month ago where it started when I was sick for like half the week, and then since then it's just crazy. Uh, my my fingers are no longer uh, that much in pain though. On on what when was it? Was it Friday? Yeah, on Friday I think when we did the grippers, uh, I felt a little bit of a of a sting in my in the skeletons here. And then uh, of course the sleep is it's very very hard to fall asleep still. It has to do with the diet, but of course of uh, as well with the depression, like it's very rough guys and then of course the weather also is, is getting very hot in the night so it's a tri trifactor i'm completely wrecked in this regard so we are without a sleeping aid i cannot uh, not, not go to sleep what i noticed is i have a, a huge craving for sweets i'm dreaming of chocolate and <laughs> i'm gonna so much eat chocolate once this is over for sure and yeah um i wrote down here for the depression i'm worried that it's gonna like manifest itself into some physical cancer or something. Honestly, I'm I'm like permanently depressed currently, and it's just a horrible feeling. Sometimes I just sit like this and stare at the wall, and and I'm thinking like I wanna die. Yeah. Oh, another thing, guys. My fingernails have been like this for like the past two weeks. They are not growing anymore. I think they they just lack the nutrients of growing. So I have noticed that my fingernails stopped growing. That's another thing that is very interesting to um, to keep an eye on. I mean, it's, it doesn't really matter, you know, it's just fingernails. If they're too long, you cut them. If not, like, whatever. But it's something that I noticed, so yeah. And then uh, I wrote down, it was very hard to maintain the reps. And it, yeah, especially on leg day. Oh my God, guys, leg day was so hard. Like doing the, the squats was the worst. Like I had the, how do you say it? Like the... The mechanism of going down like this with my with my with my feet it felt so awkward and clunky like not smooth at all the contraction of my muscles was like horrible it was a uh, as as if my mind muscle connection deteriorated and i just like didn't feel it at all it was it was just horrible like all the decentrics i think it's called or eccentrics were like just clunky as af man it's like it was a horrible feeling guys as I said before in the in the earlier vlogs, like there is no pump, there is no flex. It's it's very very rough, and uh, yeah, we still got through it, guys. So I'm happy about that at least. And I'm thinking if we do the two k calories now for the last week, I can really max out in a good way. And hopefully it's gonna be good for tomorrow already. So so yesterday on maintenance, Saturday like every Saturday I'm eating on maintenance calories which is currently 2,700 to 2,800. And then today I ate on uh, two, 2K calories. I ate a little bit more, actually. Um, I treated myself with a little bit of uh, of pasta today, but uh, I'm going to burn it off So in, car in, in doing cardio later, so it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm still on the plan, guys. Like, everything is, everything is going great. Okay, let me see. Is this all that I wanted to talk about? I think I was not all over the place and everything was really grouped. Hopefully you guys are keeping track of everything I'm saying and it is informative. So let's say if you guys are in a diet test and you're feeling frustrated or think that you are stalling or something, please look up the water waves stuff. It's very, very interesting, especially if you're a woman. Uh, the estrogen is, is supposed to uh, hold a lot of water and that's just how it is, man. Its hormones are ruling everything. Alrighty, guys. So next week we're gonna max out fully. And I think I talked about everything. Is this cruel? Are we done already? Twenty-four minutes. That is crazy. Yeah, guys. Next week we're gonna max out every rep, every set. Gonna take my, gonna take my time. And uh, we're gonna uh, talk about like all the stuff that happened during all the during all the weeks in the final video. At some point, it's definitely gonna be an hour long at least. And uh, we're gonna. Uh, compare the mesocycles because this this diet now the summer cut consisted of two mesocycles eight weeks each with one week of deload in between we're gonna co compare the numbers of the of the max out during 
first deload and the, um, doing first uh, master cycle and second master cycle. Uh, let's go about everything once more real quick. Yeah, guys, I think that is everything. All right, let's see. Uh, let's check out the form that I had. As I said, I was uh, bloated, but everything is planned like I wanted to be bloated. Let me get the videos up here so we can watch. These are my legs. Yes, I have insane legs, as you can see. They are so meaty. They can feed a family of five for like two weeks easily. One leg. As you can see, they are huge. Um, getting very skinny. Love handles are getting a little bit more sucked in, but uh, this is like from last Friday, and this was like fourth day probably uh, of the salt and water loading. So I am definitely a little bit more bloated, guys. Uh, as you can see, the the apps are a little bit more blurry. Uh, we look a little bit fuller. The salt is giving me a tad bit of a pump, pump, of a pump, I suppose. And yeah, so this is where we're at right now. I think overall it was a really good journey. So uh, we learned a lot. I learned so much about my body and. Uh, I want to thank everybody who was on the journey with me, who came by and say hello in the, in the stream and everything. We're going to go really hard still, guys, for the last week. And then I can rest finally, do a nice deload week, do it like an active rest. First, it's going to be like a deload week. We're going to stream the, probably stream the workouts. I'm not sure yet because what the deload week means is I'm going to eat at maintenance calories and half my workouts. I'm going to half the sets, half the weight. And yeah, maybe I'm not even gonna stream the, the workouts and just work out like in the park or something. Uh, you know, just to flex a little bit, be <laughs> be naked in the in the open and flex my gains. But yeah, so what I expect now, guys, as I said, is to lose all the bloat, all the water weight, and get like really, really nice apps to show up until Saturday. And then I ho hopefully it's gonna work out the way I want it to be. If it doesn't, then what can I do, dude? It's just I'm going to cut out the salt, and then from here on, I'm not going to stay away from salt. Uh, we have to keep the hydration up, of course, because we are just human. But I'm going to try everything in my mind to reduce my water weight, and salt is just something that holds onto water weight. Uh, as far as I read, it's like one gram of salt holds up to 40 grams of water. One gram of carbs holds on to four, three to four grams of water. So, yeah. Gonna try and keep the carbs low, gonna try and keep the salt low. So the thing is with salt, uh, it is actually what is hydrating you and I've had a lot more success with drinking salt pre-workout and I definitely noticed it when I did the switch to doing that. But yeah, I might uh, just increase my potassium as well. Uh, we, will, we will see, it has to be a, ni a nice balance. And yeah, I'm probably gonna do some blood work just to see where I'm at, like what, what my body is doing. It is genetically, a difference in between all of us guys like some people are just um, utilizing uh, minerals different differently and you know like i need to know where i'm at like what i'm doing you can see my scoliosis shining through now the leader i get is pretty weird but yeah so what i'm expecting guys once we carb uh, carb up and increase the carbs again that my glycogen in my muscle is gonna get filled up again dude i look actually huge as fuck though i am so skinny and it's just an optical illusion it's just because there is cuts now and you can see a form you know like muscle actually separating so yeah once the glycogen in my muscle gets um, replenished by just upping the carbs the carbohydrates and the calories i'm gonna look fucking insane i think like it it's gonna pop every every muscle is gonna double in size and the leanness should stay because i'm not gonna go overboard with the calories we're not gonna gain any fat guys we're gonna go for the maintenance phase which is gonna be two to three months and then in september we're gonna start the bulk the bulk is gonna be as lean as i can goal is to gain like 5 kg of lean mass which is gonna be crazy of course it's gonna be hard but yeah i'm gonna try and go for it like for four to five months or something and then next year we're gonna have to cut a little less hopefully but that is the plan guys we're gonna stream all of it so make sure to sub like and comment check out all the sources guys and uh, get on crypto guys take care of your neck say hello to your loved ones guys it goes a long way 
uh, thank you for for coming by for for checking out another vlog for half an hour guys and yeah it's a lot to talk about i hope i went through everything there was tons of stuff that i missed for sure and uh yeah i just want to keep it a little bit uh, shorter for sure because <laughs> i know these are getting uh, out of hand very, very long but rest assured dude the the one that I'm posting after the diet is probably gonna be like one to two hours, but it's a lot of stuff that I learned, and I'm I'm thinking I can give some valuable information to everybody who's in this situation, and can you know, so you guys can draw your parallels and learn something for yourself as well. And I, hopefully, I can give you guys some value. So that is that is the the way, dude. That is what I'm about right now. Alrighty, guys, thank you once again, and. Um, Come by tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow is pull day, pull day, best day, guys. We go zero reps in reserve. Not only zero reps in reserve, guys. We go full max out on every set, on every rep. I go into deficit. Like I'm gonna go as hard as I can, and we see what what we are left with. So hopefully, I'm, I did not lose any muscle. But as I said, like last week was very very rough, and I'm thinking like, oh, that was like very much on the edge of losing muscle now. So I definitely have to up the calories right now, and it's I think that it's the perfect time, and it's the perfect amount that I'm gonna do it, and it's gonna be a nice reversal of the diet into the maintenance phase and we got it all figured out hopefully guys and yeah that's uh that is it guys thank you thank you thank you very much for watching guys gg and uh, i wish you the nicest weekend of your life see you tomorrow guys thank you bye